Hey Collective, thank you for checking into the channel. It's your girl, the Unorthodox Counselor. Today I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, collective read for you guys today. Usually I do all the individual zodiacs um, or combine the elements, but today I'm going to actually just do a uh, um, collective read. So let's see what you guys got going on. Take only the messages that resonate, okay? And we will go ahead and get started and jump right on So there should, could be some celebrations getting ready to go on for you guys out there. You know, especially we got the 4th of July tomorrow. We got, you know, a lot of graduations. Summer birthdays are happening. Um, people graduating from high school, you know, meeting milestones and stuff like that. So there definitely could be a lot of celebrations going on. We have thorns coming out here. So we're talking about whether and the challenges ahead will bring in a new positive future for you. So you may have been going through quite a bit of things in your life. You know, feel like you've been having nothing but obstacles and challenges after challenges after challenges. And you've really been fighting a lot of, a lot of demons, you know, a lot of old way of thinking and patterns, you know, fighting off, you know, relationships that don't serve you, you know, you could be fighting your way to try to be in a better position and you keep experiencing nothing but opposition left and right, left and right, but you still been holding steadfast with continuing to try to persevere past all this madness that you keep encountering. And I think, I feel like this is why celebrations is, is something that's, you're going to be celebrating after doing all of this fighting, all of this um, persevering, all of the, the hoping, wishing, praying. You probably got battle scars for days on your mind, body, heart, and soul from just all of the battles you done endured and that you continue to keep fighting to the, you know, this very moment. We got angel coming out here, okay? Your angels are guiding you and protecting you on your spiritual journey. The number 22 can be significant for somebody right now. Somebody could be born on the 31st of the month, be 31 years old, have a 31-year-old. The number 31 could be significant. Somebody could be born on the 2nd of the month. Okay, they could be born February. They could have a two-year-old be a life path number two. But with all of this fighting that you've been going through for quite some time here, you know what I'm saying? God has sent in the angels to come and assist you and guide you. And the angels have really truly been there helping you persevere through all this madness that you've been dealing with. You could have an angel cross hanging up in your house. You could have the, the, the Jesus um, thorn picture hanging up in your house. But we have luck is on your side, okay? We have luck. You're right to be, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. Because you've been holding on to faith steadily and fighting and persevering and working with your angels and letting God and the angels lead you and guide you, this is why there's gonna be celebrations and luck is on your side. Because there's goals that you have that you've been trying to achieve. And progress is, is um, positive for you at this time. And personal goals will, will be reached. And if you are in a relationship at this time, you know, there could possibly be a marriage that's coming up. 
Okay, the number 19, 13, and 20 could be significant. The number 8. So we got angel number 222 two, two out here. Wow, we got four twos actually. Um, you go Google um, angel numbers uh, 222 two, two, and 2222. Two, two. Okay. You about to get your flowers for all the good that you have done. You about to receive your flowers. God is really about to show up. He about to show up for you for this. Okay. You could have a 19 year old, a 13 year old, a 20 year old. You could be 19, 13. I'm, well, hopefully no 13 year olds is on this channel, but, uh, you could have a, um, you could be born on the 19th of the month, 13th of the month, 20th of the month. You could have recently just gotten married. You could be wanting to be married and really been fighting yourself on if this is something that, you know, is this the person that you should be with? You could be making um, head over heart decisions about people, places, and things. You could be wanting to move into a new direction. But you're attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love because you are deserving and you are loved and cared for and being divinely guided and protected. You could be Irish. You could love to party with St. Paddy's Day. You could be a coin collector. You could be very, um, you, could, you could have a significant amount of money for yourself. You could have made a good living for yourself, but there's just other personal issues that's at hand right now for you. And finances may not really be an issue for you. It's more... Um, emotional emotional fulfillment for you because you can have all the money you want in the world but that shit don't necessarily make you happy a lot of people think so but there's bigger things and more important things in life than money now the money will get you out of quite a bit of situations but Emotions and love, uh, love always perseveres through it all. In the midst of all the chaos and the hurt and pain. Let's see. Let's tap into the tear and see what's going on. Because I feel like, I feel like somebody's been fighting a lot of emotions for something. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a a new career path or um, trying to reach some type of goal and just feeling stagnant, feeling like they're constantly having to go through all these challenges that are actually far-fetched that you shouldn't even be experiencing at this time in your life, but you are experiencing them. And you're just waiting for results. And this is why God is saying luck is on your side and you are about to have this emotional fulfillment. So let's see what the um let's see what the situation is. So right now you out here plotting and planning, looking ahead at your future, you know. What else you about to have to keep enduring, you know? You feeling like, you know, you just want to be successful. You just want to grow. You have a lot of ambition for yourself. But you know that the world has so much to offer you. And this is why you, you keep going out here fighting. And you're probably even fighting... People that are just, they know that you got vision. They know you're going somewhere in life. 
and you know that you know sometimes people get jealous or they just don't want you to really succeed But you know, no matter what you deal with in life, no matter what hurt and pain you deal with, you know that there's a world out there. And there's so much greatness out there. It's more than just the current issue that's at hand. So you plan and you, you, you're focusing. You're even thinking about possibly traveling in a new direction. And leaving, you know, some people behind because you know that you got somewhere you got to go and you got to get to. But this is why luck is on your side and you trusting in God and the universe to guide you. That's why you sitting there with the two of wands holding that world, holding the world in your hand. Because at some point, you felt like you was just having way too many delays with all these, all this fighting and bickering. And you feel like, damn, I can't seem to get ahead. You're constantly feeling like you almost defeated. But you know, as I say, ain't no such thing as losses. With this six of six of six of um, with this six of wands in reverse, you feel like you can't seem to get the victory that you you feel that you want, need, or deserve. But this is why the angels are stepping in because you constantly going up against stuff. That you ain't got no business. You shouldn't have to deal with all this spiritual warfare. To, like this is. There's no reason for this to continue on. Because you already put in all the work. Because Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We're talking about being resourceful and we're talking about, you know, abundance and confidence, you know, creativity. All of these things that you possess, like you should have already been where you've been trying to go. But it's just constantly something. It's just always something. We got a lot of fire out here. A lot of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in this read. We got King of Wands coming out here. Leo energy, Sagittarius, Cancer. You got sharp. Um, With you learning how to balance out your emotions, but still possessing that, that ambition and that drive to keep persevering through, this is why luck is on your side. Even with the king of wands in the upright, with the six of wands in reverse, with the two of wands in the upright, you still holding it down and you still being faithful. This is why you get this is exactly why the angels are stepping in for you. Because there was a lot of deception at some points where people had hidden agendas on you with the seven of swords. You might even feel like you gotta you feel might even feel like you have to run away just to get to really reach your goals because there's no type of emotional fulfillment for you to grow and expand in your current location. This is why we got the hangman in reverse. You like, listen, I'm not satisfied right now. 
And I'm not willing to give up. I'm about to persevere through this. So I'm going to keep on doing what I got to do to get to where I got to go. You're not willing to give up. You're not. Because you're a fighter. I mean, it's heavy, it's heavy fire sign energy out here. We got eight of wands out here. We talking about communication getting ready to come in. Some type of good news. This is why we got the luck card out here. This is why the angels is out here. You about to get the results that from all the hard work you've been putting in. Hangman in reverse. You out here, you you like I'm not I'm not giving up. We got the page of pentacles in reverse. Somebody about to receive bad news. Somebody about to receive bad news because you going in a new direction and they getting left behind. So there's fast communication coming in. That's about to feel like bad news to somebody else. Mm, mm, mm. We got a Knight of Wands in reverse. This this new communication that's coming in could be bad news with this Knight of Wands in reverse. We're talking about um, bringing on some type of depression. Some carelessness. Somebody having a lack of energy. We got nine of pentacles in reverse. We talking about somebody. So somebody in your energy basically... Because you're moving up in the world, right? Check this out. You're moving up in the world. You put in all the hard work. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of bumps and bruises and and all kinds of shit that you done experienced and, and all these marks, hurt and pain that you done endured. But yet and still, you stayed faithful to the process to keep trying to, to, to strive for greatness, you know, to go in a new direction. You know, you got something new you trying to do. But there's people that's trying to hold you back. So you now getting this blessing, okay, that the angels and God is bringing in to you that gives you this good luck, okay, that gives you this new um, emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. It brings bad news to this Knight of Wands, in reverse. This Knight of Wands. Who is this Knight of Wands? With the, let me see something. Who is this uh, Page of Pentacles? Knight of Wands. With the Knight of Pentacles. Who is this Knight of Wands? In reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. In reverse with the Page of Pentacles. Let me see something. This is a, a, a person who is a fool. Okay. Somebody who's willing to take who's willing to take a chance right now. This is also a person who's willing to take a risk because they holding on to their money and being stingy and greedy. You know what I'm saying? They trying to keep their wealth to themselves, but this is putting them in the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. 
which also put them in the Two of Cups in reverse. We're talking about arguments. We're talking about, you know, relationship issues. Okay, unrequited love, you know, a lot of disharmony, separation, which then brings the world card out here. It's going to be a whole, this, this chaos that this Knight of Wands in reverse with the fool is going to bring, it, the world, the world is going to move for you. Because this is going to bring an ending to somebody, but it's going to be a completion for you. It's going to be the uh, end of one journey, but a new beginning for you. This is why God is saying that, you know, progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. You're attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. You're achieving, listen, because we got goals out here with emotional fulfillment in the world card. So everything is definitely coming full circle for you. And, you know, there's just, you know, unfortunately, there's just people that are not going to be happy for you. And that's okay because you need to be happy for you for the work that you have been putting in. We got King of, uh, Queen of Cups in reverse. You know, we talking about, you know, somebody who's very arrogant. Okay, very arrogant and conceited. You know, they do a lot of self-indulge, indulgement. They don't really give a damn. Because at the bottom of the deck, we even got the magician in reverse with weakness. Like, they... This person, this Queen of Cups in reverse is very weak right now. You know, she had unrealistic goals, made a lot of mistakes because she, I really believe that this Queen of Cups with this Knight of Wands has something they was working on. It brings the tower in reverse because they don't want the changes to occur that needs to happen for you to move forward. But that's okay because the will is going to turn regardless. And they're very, um, they had a lot of decisions at some point. You had a lot of decisions at one point, rather. But now you decide to make a decision. This is why luck is coming in. The angels are stepping in with because this tower is in reverse, because this queen of cups is bringing you all these problems. And this Queen of Cups is normally a person who's very intuitive, but who's very in sync with, uh, you know, emotions and, you know, intuition, you know, psychic ability, you know, just be knowing shit. But this person, this Queen of Cups in reverse, with the tower in reverse, they are not trying to let things go the way they don't. She don't want to take this out, put it like this. She don't want to take a loss or a hit, rather. Because whoever you are, this person is about to lose you. This could be, you know, this this Queen of Cups in reverse could be a mother figure. Could be a grandmother, could be an aunt, you know, it could be, you know, a woman, somebody, you know, close with, tight with, a friend, whoever. But this Queen of Cups, this chick is not happy about your movement. You're no longer worried about damn which way which avenue to go because now you decided to make a conscious decision on what you're going to do and this is why that knight of cups comes out here you're getting new opportunities new experiences you're about to meet somebody new 
you know, you're, you're, you're getting some type of proposal, proposal, whether it's business or whether it's um, a relationship or, you know, it could be marriage if you're already in a long-term relationship. We got the temperance in reverse. This new, this, this, this Knight of Cups that's coming in is definitely going to bring, um, is definitely going to bring some imbalance to this Queen of Cups and this Knight of Wands. We got the Sun card coming out here. We're talking about optimism, ambition, self-confidence. Prosperity. So this Queen of Cups that's in this Queen of Cups that's in reverse. They're experiencing a level of enlightenment regarding you. And this person is now about to be an ace of cups with this loneliness, this separation, this sadness, this suffering. And because she doesn't want to let this tower be in the upright and experience um, what needs to be experienced of, you know, liberation, you know, purification, you know, freedom, enlightenment. And just letting the chips fall where they're supposed to fall. She's experiencing this sadness, this suffering, this pain. But she knows the truth about you. But she's sitting up there in the Eight of Wands. I mean, I'm sorry, the Eight of Swords. You know, feeling feeling um, very frustrated, stressed out, feeling like she's just caught up. She can't seem to get out of her head about the fact that you're moving forward in your life. This could be a woman who's really not happy about a man that's about to make some type of move in his life. This could be same-sex relationship. You know, it could also be, you know, a friend feeling like this about another friend. A family member feeling like this about, you know, you. It could be, it could be a couple different types of people out here that's feeling like this in this Queen of Cups energy. This person was a cheater. This Queen of Cups. Wow. This per somebody this person could have been deceptive, could have stolen from you. This person could have definitely tried to cheat you out of out of what's rightfully yours. You caught on to you might have caught on to Hierophant. Bang. We talking about pure relationships. You want pure relationships. You desire pure relationships. You probably went and sought some type of advice about this. You like unity. And this person was very deceptive. They was materialistic. 
They wanted you for whatever you had to offer. Because by them being around you, they was able to reap the benefits of your success. But they know that you're catch you either caught on to them or currently or you're catching on to them. But they could see that you making movements in a new direction. This person has fa faced nothing but financial loss at this point. But at the bottom of the deck, we got the four of swords in reverse. So you um, are coming out of this, 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 this resting state. You know, you like, you know what, let me get back to the drawing board. You know what I'm saying? You like, you know what, I have rested i'm still healing but i'm healed enough to kind of get back to doing the things that i need to do because you the queen of pentacles you got a lot of fertility and prosperity coming in this is why the angels are stepping in with this four of swords in reverse, where you had to take you a mental break to just rejuvenate and get yourself together, that's falling under the thorn card. Because you, you just was going through too much and you needed to rest to come up with a new game plan for how you're going to tackle the next set of issues you're going to have to deal with. And that's why you got that foresight. Okay? You are able to look ahead now and you can see things for what it really is with this Queen of Cups in reverse and with this Knight of Wands in reverse. So you decided that you want to focus on expanding. Because your intuition is telling you, yo, it's time to make moves at this time. Your, like your intuition, it, like it's beaming on you. As you looking out over, 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 you know, standing outside, you just looking over like, damn, looking out the window, like it's really time to start making some changes. I need to do what I need to do. I mean, it's already been illuminated what's really good with this individual. Because you got the six of cups in reverse, you know. You, you know, you're not even, you're just over the whole memories of this person because they just did you so wrong. You're over it. This is why the death card is out here now. This is, you brought a whole ending to this person. And with this, this, this death card with bringing this ending, it also brought you a level of empowerment for yourself. It's the dawn of a new era. Because you tired of being the star in reverse, feeling like you constantly going through obstacles and disappointments. You over this shit. You like, listen, I really should not. This is crazy that I'm not ahead yet. But this is why the will is out here in the upright. We talking about good luck, improvement, opportunities, development good karma things changing and this is why you coming out of this uh ten of swords i mean ten of wands you coming out of stress and pressure the burden is put down now you focusing now you back outside doing what you got to do stronger wiser better than ever because you moving in a new direction because that hurt and pain that you experienced in the past is a no-go. You over that. You had to bring judgment in the angels. And God came through with this judgment for this new rebirth that you about to go into with this new direction. This is a whole new transition, a whole spiritual awakening. At one point, you probably didn't want to move away and walk away. But you ain't had no choice.
Mm-mm-mm. And this is why now we in the Four of Swords. Peace, blessings, harmony, harvest, improvement, prosperity, productivity, wealth, a secure home, a stable life, a solid business, a solid partnership. You know, the pursuit of creativity. Things is now balancing out for you. Because you are deserving and worthy of this. So over so you know, overall it's like just stay down, even though sometimes you want to just be like, I'm just over this. You can't give up. You can't because God is always gonna send in the troops to balance out the scales. You're going to be fine. You. This is why you have to hold on to faith. Faith is the things that we hold on to to help us persevere. We have to have something to hold on to to get us through. And you've been holding on like, I know God would not do this to me. I know. I can't see it. I know he's going to come through. Let me just keep holding on and staying diligent and steadfast. And that's what you have done. And this is why God did come through for you. Brought in the angels, okay? Brought in your ancestors, your whole spirit team. That's not bringing in, you know, judgment on these people, all right? People about to start experiencing that three of swords that you was in, okay? You now about to, all the goals that you have for yourself, you about to hit them like this. They just going to be getting completed quick, fast. You're going to have that emotional fulfillment and be with somebody that's going to love you wholeheartedly and unconditionally. And you'll be able to love them wholeheartedly and unconditionally as well. You guys will be able to be um, fruitful and abundant financially, emotionally, spiritually. You can have your children, raise them up, right? Give them, you know, the best that you can and teach them the best that you can. Because these life experiences hold a lot of weight. When it concerns growing in life, your self-esteem plays a big role on perseverance. So actually, that's what I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to just do an actual second video um, specifically on that. But um, things are working out for you. No matter what people trying to do behind closed doors. God sees it all, and he going to shut all that down in one way, shape, or form or another. So I hope this message finds you well. Just know that you got this peace, blessing, harmony, improvement, prosperity, productivity, wealth, happiness, a secure home, a stable home. All of these things are all in place for you. So I hope that you take good care of yourself and these blessings that you got. Peace and many blessings.